chair now recognizes the gentleman from Georgia, uh, Representative Carter, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank all of you for being here. This is extremely important. I have to admit to you that I get somewhat frustrated by some of the answers. I, I see, I, I get confused as to whether it's EPA or OSHA or who's responsible, and particularly when it comes to these chemicals. And, and look, everyone up here wants a safe community. Everyone up here wants a safe working place. I, we, and I know all of you too as well. And whoever's responsibility it is, we need to make sure they're doing it. So I, I'm a little bit frustrated by, by some of the responses I'm getting. Not that it's your fault, I'm in, and I'm not frustrated with you. I'm frustrated that it's not clearer. And, and that's just, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit frustrated by that. Mr. Duvall, it, it, it appears to me that, that really this hearing has been really focused on how EPA has not, has not responded or acted upon some of the um, regulatory actions from the past administration. And I, I'm just interested about the jurisdiction. It, does EPA and OSHA, do they overlap and have similar responsibilities under various laws when it comes to some of these chemicals? There is, uh, they both have responsibility uh, for worker safety. OSHA's only responsibility is worker safety. Worker safety is one of several priorities for EPA. They have different tools in their toolboxes. They have different statutes. OSHA's statute is well designed for setting permissible exposure limits uh, uh, and uh, both chemical specific restrictions on how chemicals can be safely used in the workplace and the kinds of um, backstop provisions which are important uh, to protect workers. EPA's statute uh, is different. Uh, Section 6 was amended uh, in 2016. It had not been functioning for a full 25 years. And we are only now uh, ex uh, learning how EPA will implement Section 6, and I think we need to give it some time. It's learning as it goes. But I can tell you that EPA is working extremely hard on worker protection and other aspects of its existing chemicals program under Section 6. Under Section 5, EPA has responsibility for reviewing individual chemicals that are developed uh, uh, through R&D and are proposed to be uh, commercialized. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, can we make it any clearer? Do we need to make certain distinctions between the responsibilities of the two, uh, of the two bodies here? I, I, I think the responsibilities are clear in the statutes already. So, first of all, Dr. Finkel, do you want to respond to this? Well, I like what he just said. I think the responsibilities are clear. OSHA sets permissible exposure limits. I don't think they've done a great job. It's partly my responsibility that I didn't fulfill. But EPA is now tasked with looking at uses and making hard decisions about whether certain uses are so unnecessary because of better substitutes or they're so dangerous that some uses should be banned not only for workers but for the people who breathe what the workers let out the door at night. So I don't see any lack of clarity or duplication there. OSHA's done the best it can with methylene chloride, and it's EPA's job to ask the question, should we do more? If they decide to do more, Congress has now given them the ability to do that. Okay, we, I've got just about a minute left. Help me out here, dumb it down for me. I, I don't know the difference from five and six, Dr. Mr. Duvall, I, I'm sorry. I probably should, but I just don't. So what can we do? What can we do better? That, that's our responsibility, to set direction to these agencies. Tell me what we can do to OSHA and EPA to make sure that we've got the safest working environment that we can have for our community. I, I'd say that mo one of the most important things that could be done is to fully fund both agencies. Uh, OSHA in particular is underfunded and needs more. Okay, money. aside from funding. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> I, uh, seriously, I'm 30 I, seconds left, anyone. My sense is that um, EPA uh, should work more closely with OSHA to get the best worker protection measures that are appropriate under their respect. Everybody agree with that? In Mr. Morrison? Yeah, uh, I think uh, what, what, what we're finding right now is like on the fire department, your fire departments in your area, there are 
are governed uh, by recommended practices or uh, NFPA. We would like OSHA to work with EPA to make these rulemaking process that the firefighters are protected on that. And that, that relationship, I don't see why it could not work and it should work, EPA and OSHA working together to protect the workers and the, and the you know, operators. Doctor, Dr. Fink? Yeah, I've got a suggestion. Before I retire, I would love to see the beginning of a conversation that OSHA does a great job with worker safety, but not as great with worker health. There should be one national agency dealing with chemicals that go out of the workplace into the environment. Whether it's at EPA or OSHA, I don't care, but the separation yeah. is the problem. Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your indulgence. I yield back. The uh, gentleman yields back. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady 